Hello, my name is Brent Wilson, and I'm on staff here at Northwest, and I have the privilege to be doing today's Devo on negativity. I don't know about you, but in a world of wildfires, flooding, political polarization, disease, affliction, it's so easy to become pessimistic of society. Come on, how many of you know all it takes is for someone in a blue sedan to pull into the parking spot you were gonna park in at Fred Myers for your day to become negative? Unfortunately, today our culture perpetuates this negativity. It seems like everywhere we go, someone's mad at someone else or that some situation changes our entire outlook on the day. And if you're anything like me, a bad meeting or conversation can distract me for the rest of the day. Like, how could they say that? How could they do that? You know, just the other day, I had gotten out of an important meeting that had drained me. I'm sure some of you can relate to that. And so I went to get coffee as any Pacific Northwest caffeine addict does to decompress. And I was standing in line and all of a sudden someone comes and punches me in the arm. And I turned around and one of our students that goes to youth was standing there. And the first thing I thought was, was that really necessary? Like, why would you punch me in the arm? And second, out of all the times and places, why here, why now? So I was like, what's up, bro? And he said, not much. I was supposed to meet a friend here, but then he ditched me. And I was like, because he probably didn't want to get punched in the arm. But in all seriousness, the next thing he said took me back. He looked at me in the eyes and said, but it's all good because you're here now. You know, you never know what someone is going through and how you can be the light in their life. It's so easy to be bogged down by the trials of today that we forget about being the hands and feet of Jesus. We forget about the impact we have to the people around us. You know, even when we see the trouble, that doesn't mean Jesus can't meet us in the middle of it. One of my friends told me a that'll preach line recently, so I can't take credit for it, but she said, uh, right now is the only time we get to trust Jesus through suffering. Wow. In the book of Acts, we find Paul doing ministry in a city called Philippi. He was arrested and thrown into prison. So here's Paul and Silas, they're in chains when they believe they should be doing the ministry. If anyone deserves to be negative, it's them. It says in chapter 16, verse 26, suddenly there was a, such a violent earthquake that the foundations of the prison were shaken. At once, all the prison doors flew open and everyone's chains came loose. The jailer woke up and when he saw the prison doors open, he drew his sword and was about to kill himself because he had thought the prisoners had escaped. But Paul shouted, don't harm yourself, we're all here. The jailer called for the lights and he rushed in and fell trembling before Paul and Silas. He then brought them out and asked, Sir, what must I do to be saved? You see, Paul saw the negative and knew God could use it. And I wonder if God could do the same thing with you. God could use your negative situation for his good.